Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mang, and I welcome you guys back to some more randomized Fire Emblem 7. It is time to uh, jump into chapter 21, which is called Kinship's Bond, and this one's a really tough one. I th at least I think it's going to be a really tough one. First, we got some uh, Black Fang members to deal with right here. Ooh, a Sniper, a Paladin, a Falconite, a Sage, a Paladin, and a General. No idea which one of these are which, but... I'm not even sure if they're gonna represent them, really. Anyway, so... Uh, in this chapter, we face Eubens and his Merry Men, and he is a <laughs> Well... Um... Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I I actually have no idea how we're gonna deal with this, to be quite honest. Anyway, I'm just gonna change the position of my mic a little bit. There we go. Uh, there we go. Much better. Wait a minute. Uh, there we go. Okay, so... Yeah, I I have no idea how to how to kill this guy. In uh, Eliwood's story, he starts here, but in Hector's story, he starts here instead, so he's all harder to kill. Uh, and you want to kill him. Uh, it ends the chapter and gives you a Knight's Crest. I'm not sure if I really need a Knight's Crest, though, so it may not, may not be worth it for me. Um, we also get two new characters, Wrath and Heath, whoever they are. Um, so yeah, I have a sort of a strategy worked out for this chapter. And it's gonna be a good strategy. Uh, let's see. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do something that I should have done a long time ago. I am just gonna force promote Louise right away. Because honestly, yeah, she has like one more level to grow. She needs to work on her staff rank because I need a healer. Uh, I've come to the, you know, I've dealt with the fact that Louise is probably never gonna be a really good combat unit with her pen speed after promotion. So I might as well start leveling up her staff rank, because I need a healer. Alright, my bad, I was just really thirsty, so I had to go and get myself uh, a glass of ice-cold Pepsi Max. Alright, so who do we have right here? It's a Isadora. Oh, please tell me that is the Uber Spare. Please tell me I just got another Uber Spare. No, I didn't. I just got Isadora. I just got crappy old Isadora. So yeah, Isadora. She sucks. The end. Um... Yeah, no, seriously, guys. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this piece of shit right here? Oh, Isadora, why are you in this game? Ah, at least she comes with an angelic robe. At least she'll be powerfully useful ferrying people around here. And then we have to check out who... Oh my god, it's Jafar. Helps with the mine. Cool, we can mine glitch. Um, so yeah, Jafar, holy shit. Yeah. In case you didn't know, Jafar has ridiculously high base stats, uh, so whatever he ends up being randomized into, he becomes ridiculously fucking good. Um, so, he actually, funnily enough, randomized into an unpromoted version of his normal class, so... He does have a really fast support with Nino, though, and his capped speed, and he's only level 7, so... He could end up being pretty fucking good. Um, holy shit. I think we should use Jafar, guys. We also get visited by whoever Wrath's replacing, or whoever's replacing Wrath, uh, I think on turn two. Anyway, so how am I going to do this? Well, I'm going to be sending Louise down here, and I'm going to be dancing on her, or dance, not dancing on her, dancing for her on the very first turn. Oh shit, right, yeah, Pent has a door key, I'm gonna give that to her right now. I'm gonna be positioning Pent right here, so he gives her the support bonus. There we go. So hopefully Luis should be able to deal with most of these guys on the first turn. Then I'm going to be moving Nino down right here. If you're wondering what I thought, what? It's just a cat. Uh, it's not my cat, it's actually my, my landlord's cat, who has really taken a liking uh, to my uh, basement apartment. So I let him in every now and then, and he really likes hanging around in my apartment. So And my landlord says it's fine, so... Uh, he really likes this place for whatever reason. I think he just likes me because I'm a cat person. Uh, I have had a cat for like a very, very long time, so I get really well along with cats. Anyway, so um, I'm going to move Nino down here. Now, this is the trick, right? You want to take, you want to clear out a lot of enemies, and thanks to the fact that we have a dancer, we can actually do that on the first turn. So I'm going to send down Nino here and take down this little fucker. And the green units will rejoice, and Nino starts off with a fucking critical. So here's the thing, right? This is a javelin and hand axe map. Almost every single enemy on the map 
has a ranged weapon. There are archers, there are mages, there are nomads, there are monks that show up later. Even a lot of the cavalry and shit have like, yeah, even, even the guys have like hand axes. It's fucking stupid, really. Um, also, this guy has a door key. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, you have to pretty much use hand axes and javelins in your physical units on this map. If not, you are pretty much fucked. <laughs> you, that, you know, that's just how it works. You know, you, you gotta do it. Uh, I really hate it, but, you know, that's, that's, how the, that's how this map works. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do right now is I am going to pick up Matthew. Because I need Matthew to recruit Jafar and put him over here. I could actually have passed him over to Lynn, but no, that, that's not a good idea. We're gonna keep a Wallace in the back and we'll dart and uh, we can actually move uh, uh, Bartra down here. We gotta be very careful about Eubens though, we don't want to move into his range. Alright, so Louise with the pen support hopefully wrecks these guys. I think she doubles. Oh wow, she even quits. Look at that sprite, people. Isn't that the most gorgeous sage you have ever seen? I think she's. she looks a lot like the Guinevere sage, I think. Oh no, wait, Guinevere's not a sage. She's, yes, she is. She's actually a sage. She's a, she's a sage in Fire Emblem 6 that can actually use light magic. Oh man. Louise can't double the archer, I'm sad. So yeah, time to watch uh, Nino completely wreck these guys. Well, she won't wreck this guy. This guy is placed here, I think, mostly to just wreck the Armor Knights, because that's why he comes with an Armor Slayer. We'll actually see a Nino level up fairly soon. So yeah, the idea is just that Nino is going to wreck all these guys. She's not even going to wreck this guy. Hmm. Unless she crits, which she could do. She has a 9% crit rate. Come on. Aw. Yeah, she's gonna deal with at least most of the mages and shit, and uh, that archer you see right there, he's gonna go and occupy the ballista on the next turn, and that's why I've sent Nino down to deal with him. And this is also why I gave Nino a pure water, because there's a lot of spellcasters here, and trust me, more will come. <laughs> Which is why Nino only has javelins and hand axes in her inventory. Anyway, time for Nino to level up. She's now level 3. Hit points, speed, luck. Alright. Works for me. So yeah, she clears out so many units on this face. It's amazing. I mean, you can't rout the enemy here anyway. You'll get overrun if you don't kill them all quickly. So you might as well just feed them to a few powerful units. And this guy actually goes for Pent. Interesting. Huh. Well, Pent doesn't have the strength to kill the guy, sadly. He could have critted, though. 22%. Ugh! I did not see that happening, but luckily Sadora survived it. Holy shit. I think the cat is jumping around again. Hey, cat. I don't really know him that well. He's very similar to my previous cat. Ba 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 Okay, Nino has taken some slight punishment right now. I think she can probably switch over to a hand axe because, um,. Most of these enemies at this point, there aren't that many sword wielding enemies left. Yeah, they're actually chipping her down fairly reasonably, so... I think switching to a hand axe so at least she won't get weapon triangled by the fighters would be a good idea. Alright, there we go. Alright, so here comes a, uh, a monk. And it is Loan, And he comes with a light rune. <laughs> Four base magic and two speed. <laughs> Benched. I'm sorry, I'm not even gonna look at that. That's how bad that was. Holy shit. What, I do like this guy though. I call him 313 Mercenary because he's ridiculously strong. Um, I mean, all of the green units in this map are absolutely fucking deplorable. But uh, but this guy, for whatever reason, he, he, he has capped skill. Um, and he crits all the fucking time. This guy is insane. I, I want 313 Mercenary on my team. Alright, so I'm actually not... I, I think what I'll do right now... Now, if I... I'm gonna... If, if I'm gonna dance, which I do very much want to do, I have to rescue Wrath out of there. Oh, come on, Nino, come on. There you go. Because I need to... I, I need to take this guy down. I could bar train my way out of there, naturally. That is always a possibility. 
because Nino actually can't take on this many more enemies this turn. I mean, she will take 8 damage from this guy, and then she might take 7 damage from this guy, and then she might take... Yeah, yeah, that's the problem right there. I do really, really want to... Uh, okay, you know what? What I actually can do is I can get healed by Luis, and then I can dance for Nino, and then go down... You know what? Okay, this is perfect. I can, I can even kill this guy. Alright, that is definitely what I'm gonna do. Alright, yeah, that is definitely what I'm gonna do. So kill this guy. And then we'll heal with Luis, and then we'll send Nino back to kill the archer. Oh, feels so good to have a healer now. Is that the first time I've used the heal stuff in this entire LP? I think so, actually. Alright, so Pent will really struggle to do anything against this guy, sadly. The fighter will kill himself on Pench. This guy, not so much. Anyway, we need to go down here now. And I'm a little bit worried, actually, that uh, my dancers might take a hit or two right now. But you know what? It's fine. We gotta get rid of this guy. Now, I could actually have given... Oh, right. I should probably take away the Angelic Robe before something bad happens. Now, what I could do, I suppose, is I could rescue, and I think I will. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna make sure I don't have the Perch Tome equipped. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, shit. I just noticed that Carol is actually kinda in danger here. Just why I should move down Renault's. Gonna cough myself a little bit of a pure water. There we go. We're gonna wait with Wallace. All right, let's see how this goes, shall we? Yeah. We're good, I think. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> Depends on whether the fighter knocks down the war wall before the wyverns take their move. Also, Pen just took a poison next to the face, and now he's poisoned. But it's fine. He uh, he should have enough defense to survive those guys. Uh, okay, okay, I think my bard's in danger now. No, okay, they're going after Carol, that's fine. I actually hope Carol does not crit on this one. Okay, good, because if he did crit, he there was a big chance that he could have actually just killed himself. Alright, Vyvern fights, Jesus Christ, Pent's fucking strength is really bad. But, um, once he promotes, he might get better? I don't know. Depends on how well he levels his strength. Oh, this guy goes after Nina, actually. That's interesting. Yeah, this is why I wanted to equip a hand axe, because these guys got steel answers and they really, really fucking hurt if they hit. So you you really need that weapon triangle advantage to stay alive down here. Ba 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 ba. And that fighter is actually blocking the archer from taking the ballista. That's interesting. But he's going after Carol, so it's fine. Yeah, this is why I didn't want the Vyvern to, uh, that's why I didn't want Carol to crit, because he would have killed himself. He still came pretty close to killing himself, but, um... I think he's fine. <gasps> oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh no, the bar train. Well, I do have Priscilla. <laughs> I do have- oh my god, green units. Oh my god, green units! They're actually being useful! Uh Wrath, 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 you poor man. What can you do? What can you do? Anyway, we need Luis over here. Well, I would ideally like her to heal a little bit. Um, I need her to, um, I need her to actually kill this guy so we can go and recruit Jafar. Alright, so, let's go talk to him. And what I can do with Jafar is I can just go steal this thief's lockpick. And yeah, getting a quick Jafar support with Nino would be really, really nice. Anyway, let's get a sword down to uh, Jafar, shall we? Also, Carol really needs to heal. Also, I'm th I was going to place the light rune here, but I'm not sure if, if I really want to do that anymore. Anyway, I'm going to be killing this guy off now. Wow, nice crits. 
And I do believe I have a, uh, yeah, I do have a Worm Slayer that I brought for this uh, moment. Oh shit, that is some. Um, I'm actually wondering if the, win <laughs> yeah, the Wind Sword is actually super effective against Wyverns, and it attacks from a distance, so it is actually really good for this map. Uh, too bad I can't dance for Bartra. Rip. Alright, let's get Renault down here. Um, yeah, he can easily fuck these guys over. I just coughed a pure water with him uh, last turn, so he should be able to deal with the mages pretty effectively. And uh, I actually think I'm going to dance for Luis and heal Pence, or I could dance for Luis and kill the mage. Because I know that there, yeah, there's an archer right here. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to heal up Pence. Now, I don't know how much damage that guy will deal to Pen, because I don't remember the base might of the Ballista. But it's probably a good idea to keep him somewhat out of range. Yeah, might be. I think he... I'm not sure if he wants shots. Actually, he might... Oh, crap. Yeah, Matthew. We gotta get Matthew out of there. There we go. Feel a lot better now. Maybe we should just go and get the silver card and see if we can do some shopping in the secret shop. You know what? That might actually be a good idea. Also, where's my fucking vulnerary? Well, it's not here, that's for sure. I need to go get one, or I need to go get some healing from Luis. Also, I didn't just play someone in range of Eubens, did I? No, I didn't. He would have moved right now if that was the case. Anyway, let's go Nino! Kanas is sadly not here, so she doesn't get her awesome support. But, if I can uh, A rank with Jafar, that would be a pretty sick support. <laughs> now, one thing that I've noticed about the Brigands, I'm sure some of you guys have pointed this out as well, is that they can't actually promote via the Ocean Seal. They have to use the Earth Seal. I don't remember when you get your first Earth Seal, but I think it's after the Ocean Seal. So, sadly, 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 we won't be able to see Renault promote quite yet. I don't remember when you get your first Earth Seal. I think it's slightly after the Desert Chapter. I think you get it from a village, um, the one, the map where you fight Lloyd. So, uh, I think Renault sadly is going to be moving around on pretty, pretty... Pretty uncapped and not being able to promote for quite a few levels, but hey, uh, that's just... Br Brigands weren't intended to be a playable class in Fire Emblem 7, so they didn't give them any quests. But since the Earth Steel promotes all classes, aside from, you know, the obvious ones, um, that's how you have to promote them. Anyway, we should probably get Matthew over and recruit Loan, if nothing else, then, but for that Light Rune. 313 Mercenary should be able to deal with that fighter, so... Or Carol can just go and snipe him. So yeah, a lot of guys are spawning right now. Um, I think I should send Luis down to deal with them. Uh, Jafar has a lockpick right now, but I'm, I'm thinking Jafar would actually be better at just fighting over there. So I'm gonna trade my... Wait, how much con does the fucker have? He has enough, he has enough con to wield a steel sword at base. That is pretty fucking amazing. What are... Hey! He's attacking the mirror, what the fuck? Hey, shh, shh. Stupid cat. He's attacking the fucking mirror. I'm not even fucking joking. <laughs> He's attacking the fucking mirror. Oh my god, what a stupid cat. <laughs> oh, I've never seen a cat do that before. That's insane. Not even my cat was that stupid. Alright, um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, I don't think Jafar needs his lockpick. So what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna send Jafar over here, because he has the motherfucking Wind Sword! Which is really, really effective against these guys. And Jafar can actually earn a lot of experience here, because he's really low. Anyway, I think what we should do... ...is probably just transfer Matthew over here. I think I'm gonna go snipe this guy with uh, Carol, just to get some experience. He's really low, so we gotta be careful, but we should be fine. What are you doing? Okay, stupid motherfucking cat. You know what? You, you, you kind of forget, after a while, how annoying... Sorry, I just need to re readjust my microphone. You, you tend to forget how annoying cats get when there's something they want. 
they just don't give you any fucking peace until they get it. Ugh, okay, anyway. Um, so we got some nomads coming up here, so we gotta be a little bit careful about that. Uh, we don't double these fuckers, sadly. But we can deal with these armor knights relatively easily. Look at that. That's right, Renault and um, Bartra has a support, so they should really be kept together. And we can fuck this guy over with the wind sword. Pew pew! And yeah, we're just gonna fucking hold the line. Also, did I just fucking move Renault into Yubin's attack range? I may very well have done that. Fuck me. Um. I am fucking dead. I am so motherfucking dead. Alright, I hope I can kill him, because I have to. Right now, because he's gonna attack. He's gonna attack Renault. Oh boy, uh, Luis and Pant, get down here. Like, now. Um, yeah, I need Luis and Pant down here, because I just gotta throw, throw everything I have at humans right now. Fuck me. Okay, this is really bad. Alright, um, I suppose I could... Does anyone need healing? Yeah, Bartra needs one hit point of healing. I mean... Right now we just gotta work on Luisa's staff rank, right? Because she needs to be a good healer. It's gonna take her some time though. Actually, the E rank is much easier to grind in Fire Emblem uh, 7 as opposed to Fire Emblem 6. Here we go! I am so fucking dead, aren't I? Uh! Ah! He doubles. <laughs> the fucker doubles. Oh my god, how fast is he? Oh my god, I have no idea. How the fuck are we gonna kill that thing? I don't know. I mean, I suppose his resistance is pretty crap, so I'm thinking the wind sword probably. But holy shit. Well, I need to get one of the treasure chests, but yeah, I'm gonna see if killing him is even is even an option right now. I mean, if anything, I think Nino should be the one to tank him. Yeah, I, I think we should just kill try to kill Yubins if we can. Oh shit. Wow, Renault tanked a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Wrath units is going down, but just look at 313 mercenary. He's gonna fucking wreck this guy. Just look, look at him. Okay, first low one's gonna be bad. Oh no, they blocked 313 mercenary. Assholes. That's the only way you can make him bad, is to block him. Fucking hell. Alright, anyway, uh, so I think one of these chests gives a lot of cash. One of them gives a brave axe, and I, of course, guess, guess, guess which one I got. Um, well, we can do 10 damage to him. 11 damage to him. Okay, that's that hit rate is really fucking shaky. Luis can actually do a lot of damage to him. Renault can do... You know what? We're just gonna have to bank on this, I think. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill the fucker. Fuck me. Okay, we have to kill him. Like, it's super important that we kill him. This is so fucking risky. Oh, that's right. This is originally Heath. Which means he goes like, what the fuck, dude? You traitor. Oh, I know. I know what we can do. Um, Steel sword is probably what we want right now. Or maybe even wind sword. Now she can't use it. I mean, you know, it's better than nothing. Just don't, don't crit her, please. Ah! <laughs> fuck me. I think, I think he's in killing range of Luis right now. Alright, we gotta get pent in here. We gotta get pent in here. We gotta get fucking pent in here. Might as well kill some dudes. We can, yeah, it's actually good to kill this guy, because that leaves more space for, uh, for the other guys to go in. Holy balls. Okay, um, we also have a dancer, so, okay, this is good. <laughs> this is fucking good. Oh my god. Holy shit, this guy. No regrets. Aw, yeah. Full level up for Luis. Oh, Luis is so bad, Mangs. <sighs> Why doesn't she level speed? Why doesn't she level speed? Why doesn't she level speed? 
Why doesn't she level speed? Why doesn't she? Why, why can't she level speed? Why? Why is that so fucking hard to do? Why? Why is it so fucking? Goodbye. Like and comment. All that. See you later.